This is the Music History Today podcast for August 31st. On today's show, the Three Penny Opera premieres, George Harrison is found guilty, and we serve up a little goat's head soup for you. First up, though, on this date in 1971, the Rolling Stones sued their former manager and former publisher for back royalties. Also in 1971, John Lennon left England for the final time. In 1974, the last episode of The Partridge Family aired on ABC television. In 1976, George Harrison was found guilty of using the chord structure of the song He's So Fine by the Chiffons for his song My Sweet Lord without permission. In 1978, The Grateful Dead played the song Shakedown Street for the first time in concert. In 1987, the music video for Michael Jackson's song Bad premiered on CBS television. In 1987, same day, the TV dance music show Club MTV with the host downtown Julie Brown, Wubba Wubba Wubba, Good Night, God Bless, premiered on MTV. In 1991, Jan Barry of Jan and Dean married his wife, Gertie Phillip. In 1992, Prince signed another deal with Warner Brothers Records, but ended up at odds with them later on in the decade. In 1994, singer R. Kelly married singer Alia. She was 15 years old at the time. The marriage was very quickly annulled. Speaking of Aaliyah, in 2001, Aaliyah was laid to rest after having died in a small plane crash some days earlier. In 2012, Eddie Van Halen was rushed to the hospital for emergency surgery due to having a severe digestive tract disease issue. In 2014, singer and actor Donnie Wahlberg married TV host Jenny McCarthy. Also on that same day, singer Ashley Simpson married actor Evan Ross, who is also Diana Ross's son. In 2017, the group IZ was formed. In 2018, the Bradley Cooper Lady Gaga version of the movie A Star is Born premiered in movie theaters. In 2019, Ellie Goulding married art dealer Casper Jopling. In 2020, singer Akon and his financial backers started building a new city in Akon's home country of Senegal with the vision that it be a version of Wakanda from Black Panther. In classical music, in 1952, opera singer Leontine Price married opera singer William Warfield. In theater, in 1916, the musical with the not-so-politically-correct title Chu Chin Chow by Oscar Ashe premiered in London, England. And in 1928, the musical Three Penny Opera by Brecht and Wheel was premiered. In award ceremonies that were held on August 31st in 2006, Panic at the Disco and Kelly Clarkson were the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. Albums that were released on August 31st include in 1962 when the Ventures released Going to the Ventures Dance Party, and in 1963 the Ventures released another one, this time it was called Let's Go. In 1964, Dionne Warwick released Make Way for Dionne Warwick. In 1964, same day, the Supremes released Where Did Our Love Go? In 1967, Miss Dionne was back at it again, releasing The Windows of the World. In 1970, The Beach Boys released Sunflower. In 1971, Dr. John released The Sun, Moon, and Herbs. In 1973, the Rolling Stones released one of their classic albums, Goat's Head Soup. In 1978, Donna Summer released Live and More. In 1981, The Gun Club released Fire of Love. In 1983, Carly Simon released Hello, Big Man. In 1987, Michael Jackson released his multi-winner, Bad. Also, that same day, the two live crew released Move Something. In 1990, Joe Henry released Shuffle Town. In 1992, Charles and Eddie released Duophonic, and Mike Oldfield released Tubular Bells 2, the sequel to Tubular Bells 1. In 1993, Garth Brooks released In Pieces. In 1998, The Divine Comedy released Finn de Sickle. In 1999, The Dixie Chicks, now of course known as The Chicks, released Fly. 
In 2003, Stabbing Westward released What Do I Have to Do? In 2004, Ray Charles and Bonnie Raitt released Genius Loves Company and Kansas released Sail On, the 30th Anniversary Collection. In 2009, the Jerry Garcia Band released Pure Jerry, Bay Area 1978, and the Black Crows released Before the Frost Until the Freeze. In 2010, the Goo Goo Dolls released Something for the Rest of Us, Heart released Red Velvet Car, and Papa Roach released Time for Annihilation. Singles that were released in the UK on August 31st include in 1973 when Steely Dan released Showbiz Kids and Marvin Gaye released Let's Get It On. In 1986, Huey Lewis and the News released Stuck With You. In 1987, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released All Mixed Up. In 1992, Michael Jackson released Who Is It? And in 1998, Aerosmith released I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. Meanwhile in America, in 1962, Jan and Dean released Who Put the Bump? In 1968, The Rolling Stones released Street Fighting Man. In 1975, Peter Frampton released Baby, I Love Your Way. In 2004, Green Day released American Idiot. In 2014, Sam Smith released I'm Not the Only One. And in 2015, Taylor Swift released Wildest Dreams. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 31st include Van Morrison of the group Them and also a Hall of Fame solo career. Singer Debbie Gibson, Gina Shock of the Go-Go's, country music singer Chris Whitley, Glenn Tilbrook of Squeeze, singer Eddius Harding, Reb Beach of Winger, Jeff Russo of Tonic, Larry Waddell of Mint Condition, Tony DeFranco of the DeFranco Family, Anthony Thistlewaite of the Waterboys, Rudolph Schenker of the Scorpions, singer Bob Welch of Solo Fame, and also Fleetwood Mac for a time, classical violinist Itzak Perlman, Jerry Allison of Buddy Holly and his Crickets, David Chastain of the group Chastain, rapper Joe Budden, Rapper Mostak, Rick Roberts of the Flying Burrito Brothers and also the group Firefall. Singer Mabel Matisse, Zhang Wan Young of iZone, rapper Money Mar, Riley McDonough of Before You Exit, singer Jeffrey Chang, singer Spencer Sutherland, singer Ocean Tisdale, Craig Nichols of The Vines, composer Alan Lerner of Lerner and Low. Wilton Felder of the Crusaders, Cyril Jordan of the Flaming Groovies, Bruce Soberoff of the Buckinghams, multi-instrumentalist Gunther Hampel, album cover artist Roger Dean, bassist Gerard Love of Teenage Fan Club, Del Marquis of the Scissor Sisters, film composer Yuvan Shankar Raja, and lyricist L. Wolf Gilbert. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 31st include composer Giovanni Ancina, who was poisoned in 1604 at the age of 58. Composer Nikolaus Eric passed away in 1631 at the age of 43. Composer John Ward passed away in 1638 at the age of 67. Composer Johann von Riest passed away in 1667 at the age of 60. Composer Gottfried Finger passed away in 1730 at the age of 70. Composer Francois-André Philidor passed away in 1795 at the age of 68. Composer Joseph Abaco passed away in 1805 at the age of 95. Violinist Jean Kreutzer passed away in 1832 at the age of 53. Composer Agnes S. Mayer passed away in 1862 at the age of 72. 
Composer Emil Darzins passed away in 1910 at the age of 34. Singer and actress Annie Bakker passed away in 1940 at the age of 58. Opera conductor Paul von Klenau passed away in 1946 at the age of 63. Composer Paul Hoffer passed away in 1949 at the age of 53. Singer Carol Coleman passed away in 1964 at the age of 42. Composer Otmar Gerster passed away in 1969 at the age of 72. Pianist Artur Balsam passed away in 1994 at the age of 88. Bassist Doc Jones passed away in 1994 at the age of 68. Jazz trumpet player Milt Larkin passed away in 1996 at the age of 85. Vibraphonist extraordinaire jazz legend Lionel Hampton passed away in 2002 at the age of 94. Composer Jop Giratz passed away in 2003 at the age of 79. Singer and actor Carl Wayne passed away in 2004 at the age of 61. Country music singer and co-star of the Smokey and the Bandit movies, Mr. Jerry Reed, passed away in 2008 at the age of 71. Pianist Maria de Lourdes Martins passed away in 2009 at the age of 83. Pianist Eddie Higgins passed away in 2009 at the age of 77. Jimmy Jameson of the group Survivor passed away from heart issues in 2014 at the age of 63. Composer Jacques Leduc passed away in 2016 at the age of 84. And conductor Wim Mueller passed away in 2019 at the age of 89. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 1st, when in 2018, Aretha Franklin is laid to rest, but not without some controversy. Controversy. 